Today I'm going to make for you a chocolate Oreo no-bake layered cheesecake. We're a cheesecake household here at Happy Place. We all love cheesecake. Jesse really loves cheesecake. He also really loves Oreos. We're starting with approximately 24 Oreos with the centers in because the centers actually help the crust, because that's what we're making first, hold together a little bit. I have these in my blender and hopefully it comes out okay. Let's get started. You do want these crumbs to be pretty small. You don't want large crumbs. You don't want, you want to keep it small so that, because this is for the crust. Just dump those in a bowl. Got to get all those out of there. Four tablespoons of melted butter. We're going to take this fork and just mix that around really good. Get those crumbs all nice and moist. Got that all mixed up. We're going to put that into our pie pl plate and start smashing it out. Now that we have that all pressed in, we're going to set it in the refrigerator for a little bit and let the butter kind of harden back up and make the crust a little more stable. Going to work on the first layer which is the Oreo layer. This is uh, 12 ounces of cream cheese. I actually got the uh, soft spread cream cheese simply because then I don't have to wait quite so long for it to soften. And I'm going to add in powdered sugar. I'm only gonna put a little bit in right now. This is about three fourths cup of powdered sugar sifted because I don't want the clumps and we're going to mix that up. Add in the rest of the powdered sugar. The next thing that we're going to do is add in a teaspoon of vanilla. We'll mix that in real quick. The next step is to add in some whipped cream. We're going to fold that in. Then we're going to add our Oreos. Now this is a personal preference. I just made these kind of little chunks like this. You can grind them up like we did for the pie crust if you want. It's really completely up to you. This is about eight Oreos, I think, so what I put in here. That's also a personal preference. If you want more, put more. If you want less, put less. Once you get this layer all mixed up, we can put it in our pie crust. Smooth that out a little bit. Still got another layer to put on here. I'm not sure my pie pan was quite big enough. Then we're going to put this back in the refrigerator and let it set up a little bit and we'll work on our chocolate layer. Now this is one of those 12 ounce cream cheese spreads and I'm only using about three-fourths of it so it's around eight ounces. And this is about a half a cup of powdered sugar, sifted. We're going to go ahead and mix that up. And we're going to fold in the 
other half of that container of whipped topping. Using a box of instant pudding. This one, I've, I've never tried this before, so I thought, you know, it might be fun to try something new. You can mix this according to the pie directions on it. I am actually going to attempt to make it a little bit thicker and only add one cup of milk to this. And then we're gonna beat that until it gets nice and smooth. Going to go ahead and pour this in to our cream cheese mixture. I'm just going to fold that chocolate in to this cream cheese mixture. And it's going to be a smidge runny, but it should set up nice and thick. Hopefully, I don't have too much chocolate mix to put on top since my pie plate's a little small. We'll do this a little at a time. We might have to, have to save some of this as a chocolate mousse. <laughs> I actually did manage to get all of that on there. Give me a nice thick layer of chocolate. Nothing wrong with that, right? Got some bigger chunks of Oreos. We're just going to kind of garnish the top. No rhyme or reason. Just however you want to do it. I've seen some where they just leave the whole Oreo. I just thought it'd be kind of cute to make them little pieces. And there we go. Now we're going to put this in the refrigerator and let it chill for approximately probably three hours. Hopefully not much longer than that. And then we'll get a piece out and test it. Yep, that's really good. You can see the, sort of see the layers. That tastes really good. Let me know in the comments below if you decide to make this and what you thought of it.